Good morning. Okay, it's another bright and breezy morning in the van and uh, today's quite a special day because tomorrow I'm going camping in the van and I don't have a bed, but I've got most of the basics available. So I've got running water, I've got a cooker, I've got the microwave installed now. Although it, I went out for a little drive yesterday um, just to see if I could charge up the battery and it, it moved, um, but that's fine. I, I, I actually put it on these anti-slip mats and it's come off, that's interesting. I may have to look into other ways of securing that. Um, but it's, it's fine at the moment, I can live with it. Um, I've got the uh, seat box, I put the seat box down to drive and there's no rattles which is quite good. Although I did hear a tiny little rattle from one of the, the timbre doors a couple of times but it wasn't anything um, to worry about. Uh, the SeaTech is working beautifully, um, it's charging from the solar panels and I went out for a, uh, just a little blast down the dual carriageway and back again yesterday and it charged the battery up by 5% um, and that was at, at, at night in the dark so that was charging from the alternator which was good. The heater is now working and today's priority is I need to get a switch for the heater over to that side of the van, which is where it's gonna be um, in the final install anyway. So uh, that's gonna be my priority today. I'm also going to swap out all of the 30 amp fuses for 30 amp circuit breakers, uh, just because they're better. Um, so that's another priority today. I also realized I hadn't sleeved all of my, um, my big crimping, uh, what do you call it, these little clamp things. So I'm gonna sleeve all of those today as well. And then, I've basically got to move in today. I've, I've got to get this like habitable by the end of today because tomorrow, um, I've got, it's going to be a mad, mad day tomorrow. I'm camping tomorrow and I'm going to go away sort of, you know, mid afternoon. In the morning, I'm getting a haircut. I've got a guy coming to fit a new gutter on the house and I've got a, a waste removal company coming to remove all of the junk that's in my front garden from all of the uh, detritus from, uh, you know, the, the old furniture and everything. So it's going to be a bit mad uh, this morning, but I will come back to you, uh, hopefully, when we're ready to uh, rock and roll. <laughs> Just tested a second time on a new switching system that I've got. So I've extended the the power lead to the switch. So I've actually got a switch over this side. Now, the original thinking was I'm gonna temporarily rig up a switch on this side, but then I finally decided that I would like the controls for the heater to be here. It kind of makes sense for it to go here. And if, I'm, uh, if I've got my bed sort of here, I could quite easily reach it from, uh, from the bed. So that's no problem. And then I, I suddenly started thinking, well, um, why do I need to switch on this side? <laughs> so I've rigged in this temporary switch, but actually thinking more about it, the switch can be on this side and it will be perfectly fine. I can have the switch right next to the controller. Uh, it kind of makes sense to lump it all together, but I've just tested it out. You can probably hear the heater in the background. It's just cooling down now, um, but it all works. I had to, had to extend the wire that went to this. I just kind of jerry rigged up this wire. Um, and now I know it all works. I can permanently uh, make these attachments and uh, sort of wrap it all up neatly and it's all good. So I'm gonna actually think, I think I'm actually gonna have permanent heater controls here and they'll be ready for the camp. How cool is that? Um, does mean if I wanna wake up in the morning because I'm sleeping on the floor in the winter camp, um, I'll have to stand up to put the heater on. But uh, in future when the bed is made, I'll be able to reach over from the bed and actually turn on the heater, which is exactly what I wanted. But um, yeah, quite, quite why I put the switch over this side. Um, I don't know. I was just obviously having a bit of a bit of a mad moment, but um, yeah, it's no biggie to be able to swap that switch over to this side. So all good. Right, that is it. The, the winter camp is tomorrow and I've done all I can do uh, for the van to live in now. I've just cleaned the floor, cleaned everything up, and all I can do now, I've only got like a couple of hours of light left, is make this habitable ready for tomorrow. Um, but it's all, it's all good, I've got everything plumbed in, so um, I've permanently plumbed in the heating now, and that's all working beautifully. If I pull the blind over, look, you can see, uh, when I turn it on, it all lights up, so it's all ready to go. Um, 
the I've got the the main lights which work. I've got the USB ports which work. Although that's a 12 volt cigarette lighter socket which I've got a little insert in there. Um, got all my lighting. All the lights are all charged up. So they all. Yep, there's one there, and there's one here. So I've got lighting if I need it. Um, I've got a few little hooks in place and I bought these little bits here now uh, I'm just going to temporarily fit these up these are like little pockets uh, that just attach to uh, various walls and things um, I may just stick these around so that I've got places to put things because at the moment I've got absolutely pretty much zero storage I've got no cubby well I've got these cubby holes I've got no actual storage for anything at some point I need to get some overhead lockers in and hopefully I'll have some over the bed here and uh, obviously I'm gonna have storage under the bed and perhaps overhead lockers here as well but um, until they go in I've got nowhere to put anything so I'm gonna be sort of living out of a box but if I can put some bits away um, then I shall do it. Like for example, I've got some cleaning products that I want to bring with me so I can put them in um, just in a little bowl um, down there. Uh, just just things to sort of keep things, you know, from rolling around and not being in the way and everything. Um, but yeah, what I'm hoping to do then in the next couple of hours is make this habitable, kind of cozy it up a little bit, make some, put some little uh, temporary you know sort of fancy lights or something around and just kind of make this place like a place I want to spend the weekend in and uh, so wish me luck and I'll see what I can come up with it, we're pretty much done uh, I've done everything I can do today well, I'll just pop my shoes off I've cleaned the floor um, I've just put these down just to see uh, what it looks like and it's not going to be too bad although I'm not going to be able to leave it up during the day Obviously the wheel arch has got an effect here as well, so it's kind of pushing it out to there. But these are the cushions from the old designer van. Um, and I'm just going to be sleeping on those temporarily for the winter camp. But uh, during the daytime I can put them up against the, uh, the wall out of the way, so that's fine. Um, but what I've done is I've added a load of um, little bits and pieces, you know, sort of little cubby holes and things. Just temporary, so that I can actually... Um, live in here. I've got these up here, so I've got my washing up liquid and washing things and sort of sundry items. Uh, a little bin in there. I've still got space in there. Damon suggested I should put my my big battery in there, which is not a bad idea. Although I I'm not sure about damaging the uh, the wood because it's quite a heavy battery. I'm not sure I want to be lifting it in and out of there. Um, but. Uh, all little cubby holes. This was the design of the cubby hole that I, I intended. It's like you can just chuck anything in there and it's not going to go anywhere. So it's like a little box inside a cubby hole. And then same for these, they're just, um, oh, where's my light? My light gone on. There it is. Um, so yeah, so I've just got uh, bits and bobs in here. Plenty of room for other things if I need to put any stuff in there. And hooks, lots and lots of hooks. Put hooks up because you can hang everything on your hooks. So I've uh, got a little hook up here uh, from a jacket or whatever. whatever. Um, also, Jerry rigged the fridge. I just patched in a temporary power supply um, into the fuse box, and that's just to run the fridge. Now, we've got quite a cool little plan for the fridge. We're going to, I'm just gonna drive with it like that, just strapped in its side. But then when we get to the destination, when the seat box comes down, let me just put the seat box down. And then what we're gonna do is, Damon's going to lend me one of his cushions. He's got a, a two foot wide cushion uh, and back that will sit there and then I can just perch the fridge up on there so it's going to be out of the way of the door. So I can have the fridge and the cushion or the cushion and the fridge, whatever takes my fancy. Um, but uh, So that's just going to be purely for a temporary arrangement just for this this uh, winter camping trip and then obviously um, when I eventually get around to making the bed um, the fridge will live underneath the bed along with the the pull out cupboard for the loo got to bring the loo in here as well it's basically going to have to live there um, it's going to be in the way a little bit but obviously during the day these cushions will be tucked up out of the way as well maybe even stand them on end if they'll go um, but anyway whatever I'll make it work um, but uh, yeah really really quite pleased with uh, everything how it's all gone and uh, it's all working that, that's the main thing all the lights work and the heat is working the um, the water and the uh, the gas and everything it's all working and obviously that's what matters 
So yeah, um, so I'm pretty much done for the day. And look, it's still daylight. I haven't even got the lights on. That's unprecedented of me. I, I don't know what to do with myself. Um, <laughs> but uh, I think I will, uh, well, it's gonna be a crazy hectic day tomorrow. Um, so all I've got to do is just sort of bring in some bedding and some clothes and things, but I'll do that tomorrow. Um, and then I'm pretty much ready to go. <sighs> I'm worn out. I've been like kind of, I know I said I was going to chip away at this, but because of the winter camp, I thought I better at least get the seat box and the, the kitchen unit done. Um, so I've now done those so I can take the, the bed build at my leisure simply because I'm not going to be using the van for camping until probably the spring so um, I can take my take my time with the um, the bed bill but the, the 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 stuff that needed doing for the um, the, the winter camp has now been done so uh, I can relax now so like I say it's been pretty solid for the last couple of weeks um, but I've really enjoyed it I I really really love it when I've got a project on I think you know that and uh, this, I've just been in my element. It's so good, um, and I, yeah, really, and, and really pleased as well with the way everything's turned out as well. It's a lot neater this time, um, and a lot more functional. Mind you, every time I do a van build, it always feels that bit more functional than the previous one. Um, quite how I'm going to get on with the 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 lesser cubby holes in the in the galley this time round, I'm not sure. But I, what I need to do is live with it and uh, see what's what, see what's needed. You know, if I need to put in extra shelves and things, I can do that. Um, but it's all good. And I've, like I said, I've really, really enjoyed it so far. Really enjoyed it. I think actually, one of the reasons I've really enjoyed it, wonder what that was for a minute. It's a van outside. <laughs> but one of the reasons I think I really enjoyed it is because I didn't have to spend the first two or three weeks doing the basics you know all the insulation and the walls and everything um, that was that's quite a chore to do all of the um, that sounds like a really big engine it's a little Suzuki Jimny that's interesting sounds like it's got a massive great big V8 in it <laughs> Um, but yeah, doing all the insulation and the walls and, and the, the coverings and the windows and everything and the skylights, that for me is kind of like the chore. But the actual build inside, that for me is the exciting bit. So, so for this build, I only needed to worry about the exciting bit. I didn't have to worry about the chorey bit. And I think that's what made me enjoy it even more than I have done in the past. I'm just curious to see whether these will stack upright. Yes, they will. Oh, there we go. Now, obviously, the whole point of this van build is so I have a permanent fixed bed, so I don't have to make my bed each time I uh, go camping. Um, but uh, obviously, for this particular trip, I'm going to have to put the bed away uh, at night. But I've got loads of room in here now, so that's really good. So during the daytime, I'll, I'll stack that up there. I'm glad it's stacked. I wasn't sure whether it would stack floor to ceiling, but it, it did. So that can just sit comfortably out of the way, and I've got all this space. So very, very chuffed about that. Although to be honest, for the most part, we'll be um, in the uh, the communal room anyway. So um, there we go. Anyway, I'm waffling on. I think uh, I'm gonna take advantage of this uh, finishing early today and uh, probably go and edit this video and maybe have some nice food as well a bit later on. And then tomorrow the, the craziness starts. I'm not sure if I mentioned I've got I've got some guttering being done. I've got some uh, house clearing being done in with the rubbish in the front garden. Um, I've got a lady coming to cut my hair and I've got BT coming to do a survey on the house for faster broadband. And that's all happening tomorrow after which I'm going camping. <laughs> so um, I, I knew I had to get this finished by today because there's no way I'm gonna be able to ha have any time tomorrow to do any of the, uh, the nuts and bolts stuff on the van um, tomorrow. So there we go anyway that is it for this video so thank you for watching uh, thank you for all your uh, feedback and everything that you give me up it's really nice reading through all the uh, the comments i do read every single one and uh, so i appreciate that and feel free to leave comments in the notes below on this one as well um, but uh, until next time have a great rest of the day and i will see you soon until then take care